Hello, my darlings, and welcome to my spell candle series. Today, I'm going to create a spell candle for love and passion. This candle can be used to promote self-love, draw a loving relationship to you, add passion to an existing relationship, or in any magical workings for love and passion. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a candle magic series. I create 12 different spell candles and talk about the magical properties of the ingredients in each one. I'll link to a playlist for this series below. I will also link to all of the materials I use to make this spell candle below the video. Spell candles are used in witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, and all kinds of magic, ritual, and spellcraft. You can add oils, herbs, crystals, colors, or symbols as you craft your candles to align with your magical goals. Most importantly, as you create your candle, infuse it with your intention. If your traditions call for it, you may wish to bless your candle, chant or speak words while creating it, invoke a deity, or pray over it. I begin by weighing out my wax. I'm using flakes of soy wax, and I'm measuring out four ounces of wax. This amount of wax will nicely fill this five ounce glass jar. Jar sizes are based on volume, and candle wax is measured by weight. A five ounce jar will hold four ounces of wax based on weight. You can check online for the amount of wax you need for the container you have chosen for your candle. I've chosen this jar because it has a wide opening so that I can add my ingredients to the top of the candle artfully to make it aesthetically pleasing, and also because it will be easy to fill and not likely to tip over when lit for fire safety. I've created a Book of Shadows page for this particular spell candle recipe. If you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs, and I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I'm melting the wax over a very low heat. As you make your candle, melt your wax slowly over a low heat and do not boil or burn your wax. If you see any smoke, your wax is burning. Turn the heat down. Another option is to use a double boiler setup to slowly melt your wax. As you wait for the wax to melt, this is the perfect time to add your energy and intention as you stir the melting wax. When making your own love spell candle, you should incorporate the ingredients you have on hand that provide the effects you want in your candle. You do not have to include all of the ingredients I show in this video. As always, my tutorials should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. I encourage you to use what feels right for you and what you have access to. Once the wax is completely melted, it's time to add the ingredients you want inside of your candle. Make sure to turn the heat off before adding anything to the wax. You may wish to add an essential oil or a perfume oil to scent your candle. This is an optional step, as many people like to leave their candles unscented for many reasons, including potential allergies. I'm using rose oil to add the magic of the flower and to add a sweet floral scent as the candle burns. As I add my oil and as I stir it into the wax, I add my energy and intention and visualize the finished candle. Rose is known as a flower that attracts love. It's also a flower of compassion 
and is wonderful for any magical workings relating to self-love and care. I'm also adding a few rosebuds into the wax. Roses have a long history as a flower of love. They're one of the most common ingredients in love spells. Use rose in magic for love, luck, friendship, protection, and happiness. I make sure that this element is ground up very finely to almost a powdery consistency between my fingers before adding it to the wax. Always make sure that when you're adding ingredients, they will be fire safe. If you'd like to add dried herbs or flowers, spices or resins, make sure to grind them up very finely before adding them. This way, they'll incorporate into the wax and not produce a large clump or chunk that might catch on fire or burn unpleasantly. I'm also adding dried jasmine flowers. Jasmine is associated with spiritual love. If you're looking to make a deep spiritual and loving connection, add jasmine to your love spells. Unlike many other plants, jasmine blooms only at night. Because of this, jasmine became associated with goddesses, especially the moon, and can be used to invoke or honor goddesses associated with the moon, love, and sexuality. Once you've included the ingredients you want inside of the candle, it's time to add a color. I'm using a color that corresponds to the kind of magic I'll do with my candle. In this case, for a love and passion candle, I'm adding several drops of pink colorant. In color magic, the color pink corresponds to love, being intimate and compassionate. It represents self-love, love for family and friends, as well as romantic love. You can also use red dye for passionate love. The wax will lighten as it cools, going from clear to white. The cooling process will also lighten whatever color you've added. Make sure to add enough colorant to the wax to make the liquid wax appear darker than the final color you desire. Next, it's time to pour the wax into the container you're using to hold your candle. Ensure that you're using a fire safe container. Never use plastic or anything flammable. I'm putting a small piece of removable mounting putty on the bottom of my candle wick to stick it in the jar. I'm adding a binder clip to the top of the wick to hold it straight up. I slide two chopsticks under the binder clip on each side of the wick to create a straight up and down wick that will not droop. You can also tie the wick to a chopstick or skewer or use a clothespin to hold the wick whatever you have at home that works with your container. Then slowly and carefully pour the wax in and scoop in any of the ingredients that have settled to the bottom. Leave your candle to cool and for the wax to firm up. The wax in my five ounce candle becomes somewhat firm in about one hour. The amount of time will vary depending on the size of your candle smaller candles will cool more quickly. Most of the way through the cooling process, but while the wax was still a little soft, I pressed some dried rosebuds and jasmine flowers into the wax. If you decide to add anything potentially flammable to the top of your candle, make sure that it's placed well away from the wick where the flame will be. I like to place all of my flowers or herbs around the outside of the candle, touching the glass of the jar for fire safety. Once the wax is cooled, you can add ingredients on top of the candle. I like to use a heat tool to melt a little bit of the surface wax to adhere glitter, gemstones, herbs, and flowers to the top. I'm adding rose quartz. One of the most well-known magical properties of rose quartz is love attraction, and particularly self-love. 
Rose quartz is also used for its healing and calming energy. It can be used for mutual understanding and to heal relationships. You can also substitute garnet, moonstone, or green aventurine in a spell candle to attract love. I'm also adding garnet gemstones. Among many other properties, garnet is a stone of love and commitment. It's a stone of romantic love and passion, as well as inspiring love and devotion. Garnet is a stone of commitment to a purpose, to others, and to oneself. This stone carries the energy of devotion and understanding. It's also used to enhance sexuality, sensuality, and intimacy. It is said that garnets and jewelry will help make you popular with your peers and attract the attention of a lover. Garnet is also believed to alleviate depression and is used for gentle spiritual healing. I'm adding a rose quartz glitter to the candle to add a bit of sparkle on top. I love to add glitter to all of my crafts. A candle created magically in your sacred space and with great intention can bring extra power and purpose to your magic. There are many ways to use your spell candle. It's perfect for any spell work relating to love or passion. You may wish to use it during a ritual or spell to bring a lover to you. Or you may wish to use this candle in magical workings to strengthen a loving relationship in your life or add passion to it. This candle can also be used solely during self-love workings as a focus for meditation or during journaling. Focus energy toward visualizing your goal happening as you light your candle and as it burns. When the candle has completely burned through, you may wish to remove the gemstones which are now infused with the energy of your intention. Keep them and use them in further magical workings or give them back to the earth. Always practice fire safety when burning any candles. I've left some important fire safety tips below the video.